Ghostbuster Day, a super special day, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today for our class. I found some flowers because Easter is a special, special day, and I brought them here because I thought it'd be nice, and I have this stone with a beautiful cross that I put on it, and look at this. I even got a little dressed up today for our Easter celebration, and of course, I kind of still have jeans on, but shh, no one needs to know that, right? So we are excited to see what we're going to do today for our Easter Sunday School class. I do want to give some shout outs though because we had some busy beavers, some of our friends. Let's see. So we had Miss Hannah. She again was very busy working with the project from last week on Palm Sunday and she made some palm leaves and some pom poms. And then we had Mr. Brandon along with his big brother Jacob. They also made some pretty cool leaves. Check them out. And then we had Miss Abigail, very busy making her pom-poms and leaves. So good job, you guys. I'm super proud of you. And today you're gonna have brand new projects to work on for Easter, so stay tuned for that. All right, before we get started, we're going to do our little uh, rhyme that we do with our motions. We're gonna do it two times, are you ready? Okay, here we go. In church we learn many things to share with others and pray and sing. We learn to worship God above and tell others about his love. All right, I was a little rusty, wasn't I? Let's see if I can do it better the second time. You too, let's try it. In church we learn many things to share with others and pray and sing. We learn to worship God above and tell others about his love. All right, well, we are going to get started today with finding out what supplies we need. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. Amazing how things just disappear around here, isn't it? Let's see what we need today, friends. Now remember, if you don't have all these things, it's okay. You can improvise, that means Try doing it with other things that you do have at your house, or you can just watch me and see what I create. So here are the supplies for today. Oh my goodness, look at this. These didn't fit in my special box, but here we have paper. This is just some random construction paper that I have. If you don't have construction paper, that's okay. White paper is totally fine. And then you can color your paper with crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have. Now, let's see. Ooh, it's a heavy one today, you guys. Now, we have some of the same and some things that are different. Of course, I do have more crayons. So here's our crayons. This week, you may also, if you have it, want some glue. It could be stick, glue stick. It could be liquid glue. It doesn't matter. You're also gonna need scissors again. Remember, this is only with your mom or dad's help and supervision. Don't just play with scissors. And tape. If you don't have glue, you can use tape. Then, I have some really different things. Are you ready? Noodles. Anybody have noodles in your house? Some pasta? I have some elbow noodles and I found penne pasta. So penne pasta, it doesn't matter what kind of noodles you have. If you have any noodles, you can bring those out too. And then the last thing that you might need, now this is a little crazy. I went into a drawer that I haven't looked in in a really long time and found, found all kinds of random art stuff. So let me show you my random art stuff. I had little pieces of tissue paper cut into little squares. I had, I don't even know what this is, feathers, uh, these sparkly thingies. There was a couple stickers in there. And then I found these pom-poms. Whatever you have is fine. If you don't have any of this kind of stuff, don't worry. Well, the paper stuff, the, the uh, tissue paper stuff, you can do this with regular white paper that you color different colors and then cut them into little squares. You can do it that way. Um, I also found chocolate chips to be helpful for this, but I didn't bring it over here. But you'll see later what we're gonna do with the chocolate chips. Stay tuned for that. So, at this time, 
go ask your mommy and daddy if you can find some of these supplies and bring them back here and then we're going to keep going into our lesson for today all right go get your stuff okay friends before we go for our bible lesson we do need to pray all right so let's bow your heads close your eyes and let's thank jesus for this special day Dear God, we're so thankful for today. We're thankful for Easter because today we are celebrating you sending your son Jesus. And Jesus, today we celebrate your great love for us and how you rose from the dead to save us from all our sins. God, I pray that you would just be with us today with all my friends who are watching and listening right now and that they would know your great love for them. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Alrighty, so to tell our story today, our Bible lesson, I normally just tell you and our friends that are here every week, but today I have a special new friend that I want to introduce you to. My new friend's name is Jackson the Dragon. Now Jackson the Dragon, you've not met him before, not here in my Sunday school class, but we're going to share our Bible lesson with him too so I'm excited to do that. This rock, remember the rock that I showed you by my beautiful flowers earlier with this special emblem of a cross on it that I painted on there? This is a really important part of our story today too because this is part of what happened when, when Jesus rose from the dead. There was a big rock involved in that. So we're gonna go and meet Jackson. So you're gonna come with me, okay? I need my Bible so I can tell my Bible lesson because that's where our lessons all come from. Are you with me? Are you with me, friends? Come on, we're going to go. I got my rock. I got my Bible. Come on, let's go. Let's go meet Jackson. I'm so excited for you guys to meet Jackson. We're here. All right, are we ready? Let's give a big shout, Jackson, so that he can come and hear that we are ready for him. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to count to three, and we're going to yell Jackson. One, two, three. Jackson! Okay. I need you to yell with me louder, please. <sighs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Jackson! Oh my goodness. He must be sleeping or something. I don't even know what's going on. All right, the loudest yell that you've got. Are you ready? Jackson is his name. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three. Jackson! Oh, what happened? Hi, Jackson. How are you? Oh, I just woke up from a nap. Didn't I say he was probably sleeping? All right. Well, Jackson, I'd like you to say hello to all the boys and girls who are watching today. Hello. And we want to say Happy Easter. Oh, Happy Easter to you, too. Are you excited for Easter, Jackson? Oh, yeah. You are? What do you like about Easter? Oh, oh well, I love the candy. Mm -hmm. and the eggs, mm -hmm. and the bunny rabbit, and the chocolate. Uh, okay. I like all those things too, Jackson, but that's not really what Easter's all about. What do you mean? Well, Easter's about Jesus. You know that, right? Mm. Oh, boys and girls. I'm so glad we came today because Jackson, Jackson needs to hear the story about Easter. All right, so Jackson, I'm going to tell you the story. Boys and girls, are you ready? All right, here we go. Now, Jackson, let's see. Jackson, have you ever felt sad before? Yeah. Me too. Boys and girls, have you felt sad before? I know you have. So, Jackson, what do you do when you feel sad? Well, I cry and I sometimes tell my mommy. Oh, I know. I cry too when I'm sad. Do you, do you boys and girls, do you cry when you're sad too? Maybe talk to your mommy or daddy? Well, in our Bible lesson today, Jackson and friends, we are going to find out that Jesus had some friends who were really sad. Really sad, Jackson. Now, what happened was why they were sad was that Jesus had died on a cross. What? I know. And then he was buried in a tomb with a really big stone that was put in front of it. That's got to be one big stone. It really was. I have this stone, but see my stone, Jackson? See how it has a cross on it? Because Jesus died on the cross, and then the big stone 
was rolled in front of the tomb he was buried in so that nobody could get in or get out. Wow. Yeah. So Jesus was buried in the tomb. The stone was rolled in front of it. And Jesus' friends thought they would never see him again. Well, I would think that too. He died. I know. You would think that. But, but a few days later, Jackson, just as the sun was coming up, Mary and her friend walked to the garden to see where Jesus was buried. Now, remember what you said when you feel, what you do when you feel sad? Yeah. You cry? Yeah, maybe Mary was crying and her friend were crying too. And I bet they were walking kind of slow because, you know, when you're sad, you kind of walk slow. Everything's slow. Jackson, show us like a slow, sad walk, can you? Sure. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. A slow walk just like that. Well, they were on their way to the tomb and suddenly there was a wonderful surprise. Do you like surprises? Of course I do. Well, can you guess what the surprise was? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, this is a surprise that you might not have thought about before. All of a sudden, as they were walking to the tomb, the earth began to shake. It was an earthquake. Can you shake? Imagine that there was an earthquake. Boys and girls, can you shake? Can you shake? Oh my goodness, shake. And then, guess what happened? What happened? An angel showed up. Now this angel, it was so, so bright, it was like lightning. That's what the Bible tells us, that it was as bright like lightning. Whoa. And its clothes, his clothes he was wearing was like snow. They were white like snow. Whoa. Yes. And so this angel was there, and it took hold of that big stone and it moved that giant stone away from the front of the tomb. Well, that's got to be one strong angel. I know. It was a strong angel. It pushed that stone away and then it sat on top of the stone. Pretty cool, right? Well, yeah. So remember, Mary and her friend were watching all this happen. It was amazing. So the angel sat on the top of that stone and he looked at Mary and he said, Don't be afraid. Jesus is alive. Look, the grave is empty. Go tell Jesus' friends that he is alive. But I thought he was dead. Well, he was dead, Jackson, but God did a miracle and he raised Jesus from the dead. Wow. I know. It's amazing because he loved us so much. Well, then something even more wonderful happened. Mary and her friend started walking because they were going to obey what the what the angel said to do and go tell Jesus' friends that he was alive. And as they were walking, walking, walking to go find the friends, who do they happen to see? Who? Jesus! What? I know! Jesus! They saw Jesus and he, he saw them and they knew him right away and they couldn't believe it. They knelt down in front of him and they worshipped him and Jesus told them to go tell the others that they will see me soon. So Mary and her friend were so happy and they ran to tell Jesus' friends the good news that Jesus is alive. Wow, that's incredible. Right? All right, so boys and girls, I want you to help me to shout this out. Jesus is alive and Jackson's gonna help us out here too. Are you ready? On the count of three, we're gonna shout, Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus Jesus is is alive. alive. One more time, boys and girls. One, two, three. Jesus Jesus is is alive. alive. Awesome job, Jackson. This is what Easter is all about. Not the candy and the bunny and the jelly beans and the chocolate, although I love chocolate. But Easter is about celebrating that Jesus is alive. So we hope, Jackson, that you have the best Easter ever now that you know that Jesus is alive and he loves you. Isn't that amazing? It is. So you want to say goodbye to our friends who are watching today? Goodbye and remember, Jesus is risen. All right. Everybody say bye, Jackson. Bye, Bye. Jackson. See you. All right. Wasn't that great, friends? All right. 
Let's go back to our classroom so we can finish up our lesson today. Come on, let's go. I am so glad that Jackson could join us today. Aren't you friends? That was such a treat to have him with us today. Well, I'm glad because he was here because it's just nice to have more company. But I'm also glad he was here because he needed to hear that story about Jesus coming to life and rising from the dead, right? So I have this special rock. Remember I showed you it, but I want to show you what's on the back of my rock. Are you ready? Look at this. He is risen. Jesus is risen. I painted this on here. Actually, I did it with some permanent markers. And I did that because the message is so important that Jesus is risen. If you have any rocks outside your house, in your yard or somewhere, maybe you can do something like that too. But that is the message of Easter, that Jesus is risen. So our verse today has to do with that. He is risen from the dead, Matthew 28, verse 7. He is risen from the dead. So this is your verse to learn this week, to celebrate Easter. This is what Easter is all about, that Jesus is risen from the dead, Matthew 28, verse 7. I have a little song that I also want to teach you. And to help me do this song, I have these little things that I made. Now, you can make these if you want. Um, or you can just watch me sing it and sing along with me. First, I, the way I did it was I took a straw and I know I didn't put that on my list of supplies that you need today because you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can. So I have a straw and then I drew a little picture of a sad face crying and I just used tape and taped it on the back. So I have a, a sad face, I have an angel, I drew an angel, I have a cross and I have a happy face. So you can do these if you want. You could tape it onto a pencil, straws, popsicle sticks, a stick, whatever you have around your house, okay? So we're gonna sing this song and the words to this song are in the description for the video. So if you can't remember all the words, don't worry. You can look it in the description or ask your mommy to help you to see that or your daddy and you can see the song, the words to the song there. So here's how it goes. It's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. All right, here it goes. First, you need your sad one. Mary went to see the tomb, see the tomb, see the tomb. Mary went to see the tomb where Jesus Christ was buried. Mary saw an angel there, angel there, angel there. Mary saw an angel there, he rolled away the stone. Jesus is alive, he said, alive, he said, alive, he said. Jesus is alive, he said, just look inside and see. Oh, how happy Mary felt, Mary felt, Mary felt. Oh, how happy Mary felt. Jesus is alive. All right, that's a fun song, right? So you too can make your own little puppet sort of things and you can sing that song and the words are in the description of the video. Don't forget. All right, so let's see, we have two crafts today if you wanna do them. The first craft that we have is an Easter card. Now this is kind of cool because you can make it out of any kind of paper, and it's very easy. All you have to do is take a piece of paper, fold it in half, okay? Then you're gonna take a crayon, a marker, whatever you have, and here's the secret to the card. You have the card like this, right? You're gonna put your hand onto the edge of the card like this. And then you're gonna trace your hand. So you have your card, you're gonna put your hand on the edge of the card, and then you're gonna trace your hand like this. Okay, keep your fingers together, the four fingers there together. Mine's a little rough, but you get the idea. And then you're just gonna cut it out. See this, this is my hand. I took my hand, I traced it, and I cut it out. And then because you did it with the crease right there, 
when you cut it out, it holds it together. And on the inside, you can draw or you can cut out, uh, I cut out a heart, uh, not a heart, a cross out of white paper and I just glued it onto my card and I drew some green grass and then some like, yay, beams coming out from the top of the cross and I wrote, Jesus is alive. And on the front, just happy Easter 2020. So this is a simple craft that you can do. Make an Easter card with your hand and inside put a cross and say, Jesus is alive. So that's our first craft that you can do. Our second craft has a little bit more pizzazz to it, if you will. So here's how our second craft goes. Our second craft is also a cross. And remember all those random noodles and art supplies and tissue paper and feathers and pom-poms and all this stuff? Well, what you're gonna do for this is make a beautiful cross. Look at this. You just draw an outline of the cross, okay? And you write, Jesus is alive at the top. And then with your glue, again, you can use liquid glue or you can use glue sticks. You take whatever you can find in your house. I took little balls of paper, squished them up. Here, I did stickers, I did noodles, I did chocolate chips, these shiny whatevers, I don't even know, feathers, and then more tissue paper at the bottom. You can decorate your cross however you want. Make it beautiful because this is a beautiful day. Easter, the day we celebrate that Jesus is alive. So friends, these are your projects for today. Your Easter card and a cross. And if you do them, send me pictures and you might get a shout out next week in our class. I'm so excited. And remember, boys and girls, he is risen. Jesus is alive. He loves you so much. I love you so much. And I can't wait to see you again next week. All right. Happy Easter, everybody. Love you. See you next week. Bye.